Fuck this, yes, you! I'm going to do, and we carefully write you know, many lines of code, and we hope that the mm. program does what we what we intended it to do. But the thing I've been interested in is if we just look at the kind of natural science programs, this tiny program, maybe I even pick the pieces of the program at random, but it's really tiny. And by really tiny, I mean, you know, you know the, the, um, what we're, you know, the, our goal is to have made as much as possible the world computable in the sense that if there's a, there's a practical map that aren't just... <sighs> Hello. Hello, hello. <clears throat> today I'm listening to... <sighs> today is 2 a.m. <laughs> this is when I just started my day. We're listening to, to uh, Stephen Wolfram, the chat GTP and nature. nature. This is start this over, but I'm not gonna. And the nature of truth, reality, and competition with Lex Freeman. Good stuff. Maybe. I don't know. Labor intensive on the side of kind of being creating kind of the, the computational system to do that. Um, obviously, the in, in the the kind of the chat GPT world, it's like take things which were produced for quite other purposes, namely the, all the things we've written out on the web and so on, and sort of forage from that things which were, are like what's been written on the web. So I think, uh, you know, as a, as a practical point of view, I, I view sort of the chat GPT thing as being wide and shallow, and what we're trying to do with sort of building out computation Why as being this sort of deep, or so broad, but but uh, most importantly, kind of uh, deep type of thing. I think another way to think about this is, you go back in human history, you know, I don't know, a thousand years or something, and you say, what what, what can the typical person, what's the typical person going to figure oh, out? Jesus Christ. Well, the answer is there's certain kinds of things that we humans can quickly figure out. That's <clears throat> what our... Uh, you know, well, this time is over. Oh no, about the bad. The losing side. But then, there's this whole layer of right. Let's see if I can make this losing side. Yeah, what did an enemy heal? Stand your objective and hold this sector. We have fallback positions in Egypt, but we must wear down the US forces. Yeah, where you go. Hostile forces have captured Delta One. So the towers of this workout can come just like that. It's been scanned with the fire. We'll see what we feel. 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 We'll see what we
about computation. I'm squeaked. I mean, there's, there's a couple of points here. One is, <coughs> what computation <coughs> is happening? I'd like to use it. 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 Master sort of Ranger! 90 meters from my position! So if we start on the kind of what can computation be like? Jesus! Imagine that you're, you know, we, we usually write programs and we kind of know what we want the program to do. And we can't. That's the reason! Vampire! Reloading! guy running and then another guy following me. Holding his top and all that shit. Take, so whenever you see one guy run and change positions, there's always some fucking guy following him. Some little brother. Damn! Must not allow them to take the chance. Oh, really? Yeah, they can do that. Good use, good use. How do we see if we have a good idea?
fuck is that, dude? That's DOE. Look at that, dude. is effective, man. I'm gonna shit my pants on my side. Abstraction. Convert that. Uh, the kind of abstraction is convertible to something computable. Now I'm gonna Using wait. Symbolic representation. There's a medic right there. And then, that, that's your new foundation for that. Staring at the wall. Of, yeah, somehow all that is integrated. Right, so, the, the sort of... The very that guy can heal me. That, is, that guy right there is a medic. Sort of realized it's just... It's one of these things that... That guy's a medic. You ever wonder why I keep losing? Watch, every time you die... Like, see that area I was in? That was what they call... Many names, actually. But I'm gonna go with, like, a good, good advantage. A good, not only a plane advantage, but a survival advantage. Headshot. I should have went out with my BB gun. Nice, scary. There was a guy and he did something healy. Oh, what happened to my podcast? Phone died. Looks like we all got lucky. You can't play your podcast requested. Sorry, you do. Forty meters away from me. It's the same guy! <laughs> lava Man. Oh, I don't like Lava Man. Oh, wait, there's more than one Lava Man. Is this like a new skin? Or an old skin? Because I've never seen it. Far back. Fuck you, lava man. Oh. <laughs> oh, sad. No, don't put me out in the middle of nowhere like that, dude. We gotta get him out of that building. Hold them off. We got this. Yeah. We have shown the Americans that we will they might have shredded every wall off of our home base. But we did it, boys. They literally got right to the fucking home base, shredded every fucking wall off of the base. But if there was a roof that stands, we'll call it a victory, right, boys? <laughs> Lost every computer and everything. Alright, that was a short, short episode, but we're gonna send it.